वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स आई एम यू आर एस एस टी टीचर वंदना जोशी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एस एस टी जून स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज चैप्टर नंबर नाइन लाइफ इन द डेजर्ट इन विच वी विल स्टडी टू टाइप ऑफ डेजर्ट दैट इज द हॉट डेजर्ट सहारा एंड द कोल्ड डेजर लद्दाख सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज अ डेजर्ट The desert is any barren land that has less than 25 cm of annual rainfall, extremely harsh temperature condition and scanty vegetation. And uh, the, these deserts are divided into two types of desert that is hot desert and the cold desert. In our book in this chapter we are going to study hot desert Sahara and cold desert Ladakh. so first of all we will see what is the hot desert so students here in your book example of hot desert is given sahara hot desert and this desert is situated in africa uh, in the northern part of africa which is Uh, covering the area of eight point five four million square kilometer, and it spread it from eleven African countries. These countries are Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Tunisia, Mauritania, Mali, Niger, Sudan, Morocco, and Senegal. And uh, the people, those are living here, often called it the ocean without water because no water availability is there only one river is there which is in the eastern part of this desert which is known as the nile river so first of all here we will see the land type of sahara desert students the huge sahara desert does not have uniform relief It is marked by large stony plains, rocky plateaus, abrupt mountains, large oases, and the sand dunes. River Nile flows across the eastern region, and River Niger forms the southern border. The only freshwater lake, which is known as the Chad Lake, is located on the southern border. You will be surprising to know that the entire Sahara region is not sandy. only its one fourth part is covered with sand which is known as earth there are shifting sand dunes which are having high as uh, 180 meter in these earths they are formed when strong winds blow up sand and deposit it at a site where some kind of obstructions exists on winds way If we talk about the climate of the Sahara Desert, this region experiences extreme hot and dry climate. It is extremely harsh. It has a very short rainy season and marked very clear, cloudless sky. Rainfall is less than twenty five centimeter and varies from area to area. At some place, rain does not fall for several years together. The chief cause of the sahara desert's dryness is the north eastern trade winds which blows towards the equator throughout the year as the air moves toward it becomes warmer and absorb all the moisture in the atmosphere due to which the rain is less in that area means we can say the precipitation is rare and uh, if we talk about the temperature temperature in the day may rise as high as 55 degrees centigrade whereas the nights may be freezing cold because it's a desert area the burning winds known as simoon and kamsuns blow in this deserts the natural vegetation and wildlife is also totally different Cactus date palms are mainly found in Sahara. Here, vegetation is widely scattered with grasses, cactus, shrubs, and trees growing in the 
highlands and the oasis areas however in the oasis areas vegetation is thicker the plants here have remarkably adapted to the harsh condition of the desert their long deep roots waxy leaves and thorny surface help them to preserve their water content animal life in desert is fresh and restricted to those species which are capable to adjusting to the arid environment and fresh vegetation if we talk about the animal camels hyenas jackals foxes scorpions kijuls are some main animal species found in the sahara desert the reptiles like snakes lizards and scorpions are uh, we can say these are much in the amount in this nature they come out of the sand at night suck the morning dew to fulfill their requirement of water and again burrow themselves in the sand during the day when it is too hot antelopes and gazelles are the largest animal in this sahara desert and uh, if we talk about the human life the nomadic tribe like the bedouin and tuaregs inhabited the sahara desert they move in big caravans looking for new pastures and water for their animals they rear animals such as sheep goats camels and horses for milk meat and hair and trade locally in ivory deeds and the rugs they wear heavy robes as protection against dust storm and hot winds they make products like belts slippers water bottles from leather and mats carpets clothes and blankets from animals hair they live in temporary house and exchange their goods with agriculture products from oasis areas most of the traveling is done on the camel backs permanent settlement can be found on the nile valley in egypt and near the oasis area most of the inhabitants here are arab berber and black nile in egypt is considered as a gift or life giving river that is why egypt is called as a gift of nile because it's a oasis area here people are engaged in agriculture and growing date palms and crops like rice wheat barley maize millet sugarcane and beans egypt is famous for growing cotton and egyptian cotton is grown here so due to the harsh weather condition the life is very difficult in this desert area but in the areas of near around the chad lake niger river and the nile river the life is little bit easier due to the availability of water so it was the life of the sahara desert now we will see the life in the cold desert ladakh so students as you can see in this map the cold desert ladakh is situated into the northeastern part of jammu kashmir and the northern part of india The total area of Ladakh is eighty six thousand nine hundred and four square kilometer. It is located in the eastern part, as I told you, of the Jammu Kashmir, and the Karakoram Range in the northern and Janskar Mountains in the south from its boundaries. The barren, windswept, and rough landscape of Ladakh is a high altitude cold desert. surrounded by a ring of tall mountains the region has several mountains passes like karakoram and chinskar if we talk about the land of the ladakh desert it is one of the highest region of the world it is characterized by plains and deep valleys the eastern part is higher than the western part several rivers flow 
to ladakh the indus is the most important river it flows through the central part of ladakh and has formed deep valleys and gorges nubra shok suru and janskar are the tributaries of the indus which brings melted water from the glaciers there are several glaciers in ladakh and one of them is the gangotri glacier which is also known as the gangri glacier the climatic condition in the ladakh desert due to high altitude the climate is extremely cold and dry it remains covered with snow for almost 6 month in a year and there is a heavy snowfall in winter and the average temperature is about minus 40 degree centigrade the day temperature in summers is just above 0 degree centigrade the sun rays are intense and there is a great difference between the temperature of day and night in the night temperature falls below minus 30 degree centigrade the region receives a little rainfall the main source of water here is the melted snow that forms small streams in the mountain the natural vegetation and wildlife is also scanty here the vegetation is fresh here due to harsh climate and the less precipitation plants grow only in the vegetations are sheltered spots trees like willow cypress elm poplar and juniper are found in the valleys higher slopes have grass and shrubs yak is the most important animal which is found here it is an important source of milk and wool and is also used for transportation other domestic animals are cow dog sheep and goat a mule like animal which is known as the kyang and barasingas are notable several species of birds are found here like robins red starts tibetan slowcock raven and hoop are the common birds lizard is the only reptile found here and if we we'll talk about the life of the people in the ladakh desert the reason is generally uninhabited except some isolated settlement near the river indus generally we find here postal nomads who migrated in search of new pastures the people who are settled here are engaged in animal rearing agriculture and tourism in summer season they cultivate barley potatoes pea beans and turnips fruits like apple walnuts apricots and mulberries are also grown here during the winter harsh climate does not permit agriculture so the people are engaged in weaving and carpet making ladakh is famous for shawls blankets and carpets the people of ladakh are very hard working and have involved methods of overcoming the challenges posed by the inhospitable environment the people of eastern ladakh who are mostly tibetan buddhist are speak the ladakhi language several buddhist monasteries or gomes dot the landscape hames shays and lama gurus are some of the famous gomes or monasteries of ladakh the people of western ladakh are muslim they speak the balti language the bakarwals are the nomadic people of ladakh these peoples have originally came from tibet women here are very hard working they work in shops fields and manage small businesses besides household chores le is the largest town of ladakh it is well connected both by road and air ladakh is made of only two districts leh and kargil tourism is an important industry here the mountainous landscape of this place attracts many tourists domestic as well as international 
Ladakh is often referred to as Little Tibet for its cultural links with the Tibet and as a moon country for its landscape. The life of the people of the Ladakh is undergoing change due to modernization. The government has taken several measures to improve the living condition of the people here. The opening up of Srinagar Leh Road has been a major factor in the development of tourism here. The Manali Leh Road is the highest mountain route situated in India. Now Ladakh is well connected by the air routes from several important cities like Srinagar, New Delhi, Chandigarh, Jammu etc. Now here we can say Ladakh is going to be changed due to its tourism activities. So students here revision of the chapter life in the desert is complete. Here I am providing you few important questions which you have to answer by seeing this video and reading this chapter properly. You can watch the previous videos as well and then after that you can give the answer of these questions.